good evening welcome back hello guys i hope you are doing well your families are keeping well so yes we are on day 13 it's going to be month end today is 31st of may month end so yes it's been two weeks we started this journey we started this platform so yes almost going to be two weeks and uh, tomorrow onwards we will be starting the new month with new learning with new hopes and new lessons i hope <clears throat> so far whatever we have learned uh, certainly helped you and uh, there are few expectations as you have certain expectations from me i do have certain expectation first and foremost that you are implementing whatever you are learning in your day to day life because if you're not implementing you're just listening so doesn't serve the purpose so if you're listening to me i truly appreciate i and i expect that you should implement in your day to day life second expectation is that that whatever uh, you think that should be focus on in our upcoming classes please let me know i will be happy to bring that content in front of you that is second expectation third expectation is that whatever you see especially apart from overall learning the vocabulary part the word of the day i want that you should use it utilize it and if in case uh, you are liking it and you want that i should be you know following some more methods if you are not understanding it please do let me know whether you are certainly you know getting the content getting the crux what the way i understand is are we going too fast are we going too slow or are we at right track so that three things i would like to know from you right so in the interest of time let us begin word of the day so here we go the word of the day is contentment now what is contentment we know that there is a state of mind when we are very happy we are very you know a state of happiness and satisfaction some there is a point of time in our life uh, sometime when we are very happy very delighted right so that state is called contentment if like i have written one example if you see he found contentment in living a simple life so everyone's contentment could be different for example i i feel content when i play cricket i feel content when i dance i feel content when i am in the gym i feel content when i am in a restaurant i feel content when i am in a bar so totally depends somebody who uh, see contentment should be there in our life because god has given us a beautiful life in every day we see a lot of things around us lot of so we should not be creeping we should be content we should be delighted in our life ups and downs to har kisi ki life mein hote hai right ups and downs a part and parcel of life and if they comes in we do learn it ups and downs of life mein aate hain we should learn from it we should not stick to it hum hota kya hamare life mein koi ek problem aayi koi ek challenge aaya हम उसी पे पूरा दिन पूरी लाइफ सोच सोच के बिता देते हैं इफ आई क्रैक ए जॉक टू यू राइट ना अगर मैं कोई एक जॉक सुनाता हूँ आपको यू विल लाफ यू विल लाइफ कल मैं आपको सेम जॉक सुनाऊंगा विल यू लाफ थोड़ा स्लाइटली थर्ड डे इफ आई क्रैक ए सेम जॉक विल यू लाफ नो मैं आपको रोज एक जॉक सुनाता रहूंगा रिपीटेडली यू विल नॉट लाफ आप कहोगे रोज एक ही चीज है सो so, why do you why do you stick your problems and why do we cry again and again jab hum ek joke pe bar bar nahi har sakte to ek problem pe hum bar bar kyun rote hain why do we crib why do we get nervous why do we think so these are the phases of life so there is a there is a uh, a practical experiment thing if you hold a glass if you hold a glass if i ask you to hold a glass you can hold it but if i ask you hold a glass for entire day you will be tired similar to that do not hold your problems do not hold your problems right so move on learn it and move on anyways let's let us move on now what's next so word of the day you understood what is the word of the day for today contentment next part is linking words yes so linking words means uh, this literally help us when we are on a platform where we speak a lot wherein we need to add few more things when we start up a next paragraph or when we are in a writing uh, process or uh, we are in a school or a college or maybe in a job where do where we are professionals to write wherein this literally helps a lot 
so linking words so first is addition if you need to add more things in your writing in your speaking while you speak well if you speak a lot how to do it so there are certain words they link that's why they call it linking words so in addition as we discussed in our previous class also uh, when you are st starting a statement or aap ne us statement ko full stop karke you want to write more ya you want to speak more you can say in addi in addition additionally iske alawa and you have more to write you have more to speak you, you can further say furthermore to that after that you can say moreover similarly and also as well besides not only but also so these are the things when you have to add more and more paragraphs more and more statements right so linking words addition next day contrast contrast must be iske alawa however first is however i am saying this statement lekin iske alawa however in contrast on the other hand on the contrary instead of that nevertheless while yet whereas neither nor kai log isko neither or neither padte hain aur e i t h e r ko either padte hain so it's in uk english it's neither or either neither either not neither either next a restatement restatement ki jagah aap use karte in other words to sum up matlab to conclude basically in summary in summarize in sum in brief that is to put it together way to put it another way uh, the crux is the outcome is these are the linking words you may use as per the requirement right i hope this will be helpful for you now what's next moving ahead yes as i told you that i will be bringing new 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 sentences so that it helps you because as of now there are certain sentences which we speak incorrectly so the purpose of this exercise is whatever we write whatever we speak it should be clean right first is uh, i look forward to meet you usually aksar hum yahi bolte hain for example we are meeting someone and then afterwards we say i look forward to meet you ya fir abhi hum kisi se mile nahi hain we are exchanging emails and then we write i look forward to meet you so the correct statement should be i look forward to meeting you yeah i look forward to meeting you yeah we look forward to meeting you so it should be meeting you not meet you correct yes next step uh, i work in a bank or i work for a bank so the answer is i work for a bank yes it should be for a bank not in a bank your hairs are really beautiful your hair is really beautiful so as we know hair ka plural plural, plural hairs nahi hota hair hi hota hai so Hair is your hair is really beautiful. Hair, I got hairs. Nay, I. I'm listening music or I'm listening to music, as we can see on the screen, which is correct. Okay, ye bhi usually hai while we uh, speak or while we this. I mean, this statement is uh, usually when we speak in an incorrect form. I'm bolte one of my friend. Mera ek dost hai. It should be one of my friends. because you are referring to one friend out of 10 friends or out of you may have 100 friends that is why it should be one of my friends aap apne friends ke bare mein bata rahe ho ki mera ek mera dost hai for example you say one of my friends is a doctor so one of my friends aayega one of my friend nahi aayega one of my team members aayega one of my team member nahi aayega yes now there are certain uh, there are two columns out on the left hand side and on the right hand side so you can see which is correct which is not i'm usually i while you write you say 1990s it should not be 1990s apostrophe s nahi aayega you may write s that's it cousin brother cousin sister we speak it aksar hamari aadat hoti hai mera cousin brother hai meri cousin sister hai so when you are referring to cousin you should not add brother or sister just say cousin cousin yes me and john are good friends so jo, me and john get correct pehle aayega john fir aayega and me nahi aayega john and me nahi aayega john and i are good friends correct john and i are good friends 
moving ahead does she drinks wine does she drink wine as we know which one is correct everybody have or everybody has so everybody has yes ye cheez aur humne dekhi hai people is people is is incorrect so people are because people is a plural 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 ke sath hum are use karte hain is nahi use karte hain people is nahi hoga people are let's eat grandma let's eat grandma you know the difference i hope you know the difference what is the difference right wali jagah kaun sa difference hai left wali jo kya difference hai you must have seen on the screen yes so these were certain tips wherein we should know what is right what is wrong in our day to day life we speak a lot of words a lot of things but at times if you want to be a good speaker so make sure our speaking should be refined clean perfect hone chahiye ekdam so perfect ke liye choti choti cheeze hain doesn't mean that if you are speaking fluently proper grammar hai wo hai then only is accent hai then only english hai no whatever you speak chahe maybe in a day aapko 2 ghante english baat karni padti hai kisi se maybe on call maybe on face to face or maybe in your organization or wherever you are maybe if you are a teacher with your students if you are a principal if you are in a school or college that particular time frame that particular time frame reflect or make your perception ki how is that person so make sure if you are speaking for 5 minutes or 50 minutes doesn't matter if you are speaking for 10 minutes or 10 hours no it's okay chai 5 minute baat karo those 5 minutes or 50 minutes your english should be refined english perfect jisse bhi aap baat karo the person should must say what a man the kind of posture he was carrying so english is not only a language it's overall personality honestly it's overall personality when you know how to present yourself in front of 10 in front of 100 and how what should be your posture including your dressing sense including your facial expression including uh, the language the words you are choosing to speak everything aap ek formal culture mein ho you are sitting in a formal environment and you are wearing informals plus you are speaking informals doesn't count at all when you are in a formal society apart from uh, i'm not talking about here focusing more on formal dressing sense here i'm focusing on more, more formal speaking it should not be he ya uh, it should be hello right you should be greeting do not say dear and all hi everyone hello everyone how are you doing I'm okay. What about you? So certain sentences, certain words which are formal in nature, we should not be using slangs. We should not be using short forms. We should we should avoid using uh, these sort of words. Won't, hadn't. We should speak in a complete phrase. Will not, had not. So if it doesn't mean that, if you did not or didn't say, then you will be said that the person is a good speaker. No. it's it am kisi sentence ko when these are contractions didn't uh, didn't did not ko didn't bolte hain will not ko won't will these are contractions contractions are informal if you are speaking in contractions some people think that i am saying i didn't do it i won't go there it will create a good impression no it might create a good impression in front of those those who doesn't know anything but when you are sitting with delegates a lot of educated people you will not see them that they are speaking in that they speak in complete aura these are called formal speak formal speaking skills so we should develop formal speaking skills how to develop formal speaking skills it starts from day one dheere dheere se boon boon se gada badta hai aisa nahi ki aaj se aapne start kiya kal aap speak jaoge you need to change your personality personality that you need to change your overall curriculum when you wake up in the morning ever since that when you go to bed 
सुबह से लेकर शाम तक सारा आपका पूरा का पूरा रूटीन आप कुछ यू हैव टू थिंक फॉर्मली यू नीड टू स्पीक फॉर्मली थिंक फॉर्मली आपको अपनी लाइफ में इंप्लीमेंट करना पड़ेगा अंटिल अनलेस यू डू नॉट इंप्लीमेंट इन पर्सनल लाइफ इन फॉर्मल लाइफ यू के नॉट इम्प्लीमेंट यू के नॉट टेक इट और इम्प्लीमेंट इन योर फॉर्मल लाइफ और प्रोफेशनल लाइफ सो हेयर वी आर टारगेटिंग मोर ऑन प्रोफेशनल लाइफ we want that we should be groomed in our professional life if somebody is working in an organization wants that the person should be in higher position so the boss says you need to work on your language you need to language is like english language or english command it's imperative bahut zaruri hai ye har field mein if you have to grow right so on, not only that you are speaking words in english overall personality development i'm talking about here when you get up in the morning do you actually get into a formal aura you do not you do not starting you can see you can check your phone right now how many messages you have replied so far in whatsapp what type of context you have chosen tls kar diya hoga agar kisi ko please likh rahe ho short forms likh diya hoga thank you ko ty kar diya hoga are we thinking that we are saving time no we are getting into that habit we cannot come out of it so if you really want to come out of that habit because once it is in your life because jis cheez ki aap practice karte ho wohi cheez aati hai na nikal ke so try to building that grip irrespective of whatsapp message or if you are speaking speak in a full thing if you are writing it uh, typing a message please type it completely get into that aura until unless you will not get into that aura you cannot right so these are few tips few things which we need to inculcate in our life if you really want to change it yes moving ahead uh this is just for your information purposes information ke liye likha hai because we know these geometric shapes and names but few of us we do not know it so full stop jo thoda sa dot hota hai usko point bolte hain we know what is segment ray line angle polygon circle we know it oval we know acute angle right angle acute triangle acute triangle right triangle parallel perpendicular this is just only and only for information purposes moving ahead so yes as i was telling you in our previous classes that do not use very very beautiful mat bolo very simple mat bolo use that word jahan par very ki jagah kuch aur ho oh, right instead of very beautiful you may say pretty uh yes next is very simple very simple ki jagah uses basis basic basic right very tall ki jagah towering very different ki jagah disparate very empty desolate very scared petrified very serious grave this is a grave situation this do not say very serious so jahan jahan ho sakta hai try to use avoid very okay uh, yes moving ahead okay what is the difference between d h i s and t h e s c i know most of you would be knowing it but just to clear your doubts this is used for say with singular objects jahan par is used hota hai and these is used with plural objects jahan par are used hota hai let us learn some examples i want you to buy me this game for christmas this chocolate is really delicious this is singular sentences i want you to buy me these games for christmas wahan par wo ek game ki baat kar raha hai this game aur yahan par wo these games ki baat kar raha hai that means multiple games these chocolates are really delicious there in in previous sentence wo baat kar raha hai ek chocolate ke bare mein yahan par baat kar raha hai more than one these right so we know it the basic crux is this t h i is is for singular t h e s is for plural and i am sure you know it what is singular and plural if you do not know it let me know i will take a separate class but just to give a gist of it singular means in hindi we call it ek vachan and plural means in hindi we call it bahu vachan right एक को सिंबल बोलते हैं एक से ज्यादा को प्लूरल बोलते हैं यस करेक्ट मूविंग अहेड वेरी वीई आर वाई वेरी एंड टी डबल ओ टू देर इज ए स्लाइट डिफरेंस वेरी होता है मैनेजेबल 
something you can manage. The box is very heavy. Right. Here it means box is heavy, but I can lift it. Up box, utake jaru, up bultu, ya, bot jada bari ayeto, bot jada bari. Not manageable, this box is too heavy. Here it means box is extremely heavy, I cannot lift it. Up kuji utare, up bultu, this is too heavy. So jahabia very, a very way lagati, ya, the bot bari, ya, made the shoulder the doya. Wherein you are using very, it's very hectic. For example, uh, koi task hai, up nahi kar pari, agar up usko. कर रहे हो लेकिन आप बोल रहे हो इट्स वेरी टफ बोल रहे हो वेरी टफ बहुत ज्यादा टफ है बट आप यहां बोलते हो इट्स टू टफ वेयर इन यू आर यू नो रेजिंग योर हैंड कि भैया मैं नहीं कर सकता सो दिस इज अ डिफरेंस इन वेरी एंड टू आई होप इट इज अंडरस्टैंडेबल मूविंग अहेड ओके लेंड एंड बोरो में डिफरेंस पता है लेंड मतलब गिव समथिंग जब आप किसी को उधार कुछ देते हो बोरो मतलब मांगना गेट समथिंग I am lending money. मैं अगर किसी को पैसे देता हूँ, I am lending money. But मैं जब किसी से मांगता हूँ, तो I am borrowing money. मैं उधार ले रहा हूँ. If you lend something, you give something and expect that you will get it back. Of course, if I if you give something, we expect that we will get it in return. If you borrow something, you get something and you have to return it. अगर आप किसी से उधार लेते हो, तो आपको देना भी पड़ता है. So borrow का मतलब होता है लेना, उधार लेना. Lend का मतलब होता है किसी को देना उधार. You got it? Le can you uh, just say just take uh, I will lend you my pen I can't lend you more money can I borrow your pen please can I borrow some money please you got it difference amazing I hope uh, we are going good right okay moving ahead yes so most of us make mistakes in this topic W O M A N and W O M E N. Is ka difference kya hota hai? Let me tell you and how we pronounce it. Woman. So W O M A N ko women pronounce karte hain. W O M E N ko women. V men. V men. I repeat. Woman. V men. Wo men. Wo men. Matlab I'm talking about one lady here. Yes. V men. Matlab I'm talking about more than one. So one is woman, more than one is women. Yes. Similar to that, M A N man, usko hum man hi padte hain, and M A N men, men that means more than one. I hope this was a new learning for you. Great. Moving ahead. Can and may. So can ka matlab or may ka matlab. Aaj I'll tell you in detail. Where do we use this? These are modals. We call it auxiliary verbs as well. Can is capability. Sometimes permission in an informal way. She can play basketball. Can you play basketball? So capability which you can do it. She can do it. Yes, you can do it. Come on, come on, run. You can do it. Capability. Right. Next is may. A may have possibility. Yeah, permission. If you remember. Uh, in our school, when we came to class, mein aate de, okay, may I come in, ma'am? May I go to drink water? When we used to uh, say, this is seek permission. I may attend the meeting this weekend. This is a possibility. Hai. May I have a biscuit? Biscuit nahi hota, biscuit hota. May I have a biscuit? Permission. So, may basically hota kya hai? may is a very polite, very polite permission. Uh, for example, when you call someone, your friend calls your friend, your parent has a phone. Uta May I speak to? Jab aap may use karte to bahut polite. Can I speak to? Can be kar sakte ho, but it's not that polite. It's informal. So make sure I tell you, aap may kaha use karo? May aap wahan use karo when you are in office, when you are uh, with your someone who is very senior to you, or aapko usse permission chahiye, tab aap may use karo. May I request you to please do it? May I please come in? May I uh, attend the meeting? Aap politely permission maang rahe ho. Matlab aisa nahi ki aap Jabardasti, polite, very polite. It's a very modest term, honestly. Make a use, sirf or sirf maa use karna pata, jahaan extra over polite hote ho. Someone who is very senior in your organization, if we are, or for maybe we are in school, your principal, bahut senior person hai, or maybe you think that I should do it or not, you are confused. So may, may I please, if you, if you are in an auditorium, somebody has, if you have a question, may I please ask the question? May I? You are requesting. However, can ka use ka hota hai? 
you may you may say also can i ask a question can i please attend the meeting mai ye bhi iska matlab hi kar sakta hu but ye polite way mein nahi aata it's like that uh, informally you are asking or you want that but you are not polite from inside can i speak to for example agar aap gusse mein ho to aap kisi se baat kar rahe ho apne friend se apne friend ko phone kar do uske parents ko kar can i speak to him can matlab informal hota hai and it's not a polite way so make sure use it may if you want to use can you can certainly depending on the situation but i recommend use may may is very polite form formal behavior right can is for informal okay but can ka use capability mein bhi hota hai wahan par do not get confused so can ka do use bataye maine informal permission and capability capability mein aap can hi use karoge may nahi use karoge moving ahead say said tell and told yes as we know say is a present said means past tell present told past so to express something using words and when the receiver is not mentioned for example what did anna tell you what did anna say uh, i want to say something about your car i want to tell you something about your car got it yes uh, and tell and told used to give information to person and only when the receiver of the information is mentioned wahan par receiver of the information is not mentioned here the receiver is mentioned uh, usually me him her you them etc are used directly after tell or told for example did he say how the accident took place did he tell you how the accident took place you got it the difference so these are the minor difference just a thin line so if in case there are any clarifications needed happy to connect just i may comment away moving ahead may might may or might may abhi humne piche bhi padha tha ab may ke aur we will discuss what may ke aur bhi uses so may is used when there are more chances of the possibility to happen more chances might is used when there are less chances of the possibility to happen what come chances may and might are often interchangeable but when you want to be specific you need to use it properly i may stop by your place today here there are more chances that i may stop by i might stop by your place today here there are less chances that i might to stop by for example agar aaj aapko lagta hai ki barish aa sakti hai it may rain today there are more chances but abhi barish ka chances kam hai it might rain today so when you have more chances more you will use may less chances you will use might cool moving ahead yes this is going to be a very important topic in fact the topic of today is if we going to discuss this in detail in fact the remaining session will be on communication i'm going to tell you in detail because you should know it this is the basic crux hum bolte hain baat karte hain but agar hame pata hi nahi hai ki actual mein communication hota kya hai kya iske types hote hain matlab kya hota hai how does it how, what is the process of communication do we actually know process bhi pata hona chahiye aap logo ko you should know actually in detail the gist of it we speak english but actually do we know the overall technicality of the process technicality pata hone chahiye so here is the technicality which i'm going to tell you now this is what we are going to discuss this will be a uh, last session of the day and very important with different different f aspects first is there are seven c's of communication seven aspects ko hum detail mein padhenge kya hota hai so i i believe i have given you brief in the past also in my earlier classes communication ko hum sochte hain kisi se english mein baat kar li to that is a communication no overall development overall understanding have you have you heard a term chinese whisper chinese whisper there is a game which is uh, played by when i was when i used to uh, uh, teach students in a class this english to english and all we used to conduct an activity i used to conduct an activity with my students main kya karta tha sab students ko ek row mein khada kar deta tha 
लाइन में वट आई यूज टू डू इट इन सबको कहता था टर्न अराउंड सो आई यूज टू गिव ए मैसेज टू माई स्टूडेंट जो मेरे स्टार्टिंग में जिससे लाइन स्टार्ट हुई है I used to tell him this is the message you need to communicate to the next person. Line में दस लोग होते थे मैंने जो उसको मैसेज कम्युनिकेट किया वाया मे बी बोल के या फिर हो सकता है नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन मतलब साइंस मैंने उसको कुछ बोला कि आपको ऐसे ऐसे एक्टिविटी करनी है ऐसे ऐसे एक्टिविट करनी है ऐसे एक्टिविटी करनी है अब मैंने बताया द पर्सन वो इज स्टार्टिंग इन द रो ही विल टेल टू द नेक्स्ट पर्सन सेकेंड को बताएगा सेकेंड थर्ड को बताएगा करते करते जब तक वो लास्ट में आता था ना उस मैसेज का जिस जो मैंने मैसेज एक्चुअल में दिया था और जो लास्ट में बंदे को मैसेज मिला दे वर टोटली डिफरेंट इफ आई हैड गिवेन ए मैसेज की टूडे द क्लास इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड यू वन लाइक इट वो लास्ट में क्या होता था today class would not be that much interesting and nobody would have liked it so matlab i'm just giving example start message kahan se hota tha last mein khatam kahan hota tha similarly to that agar main ye uh, signs de raha hu the person wahan ja ke jo last mein wo log yu karte the that is called chinese whisper communication start kahan se hua usko receiver ne kaise suna jo mera intent hai maine apne intent se message share kiya ki ये लार्ज ऑडियंस तो उसको वहां तक ये मैसेज ऐसे जाना चाहिए अब जिसने ये मैसेज रिसीव किया आई वाज नॉट अवेयर कि किस सिचुएशन में उसने मैसेज रिसीव किया इज ही एक्टिव इज ही एक्टिव पैशनेटली लिसनिंग टू मी और नॉट उसने मेरा मैसेज सुन तो लिया पर उसने कंफर्म नहीं किया मुझसे कि इज इट वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू से उसने तीसरे बंदे को वो मैसेज दिया अब जब तीसरे बंदे ने वो मैसेज सुना ही माइंड भी एक्टिव बट जिसने मैसेज दिया ही वॉज नॉट एक्टिव इन अब थर्ड बंदे ने फिर एज्यूम कर लिया नहीं यार यही होगा उसने कंफर्म नहीं किया कि शुड आई कंफर्म इट दस कि ये सही है नहीं उसने एज्यूम कर लिया हाँ यही होगा उसने फोर्थ को भी मैसेज दिया फोर्थ ने भी सुन लिया बट उसको कुछ हल्का सा समझ नहीं आया पर उसने सोचा दोबारा क्या कंफर्म करूँ उसने फिफ्थ को मैसेज दिया फिफ्थ वाले को थोड़ा सा डाउट लगा उसने फोर्थ वाले से पूछा फोर्थ वाले ने बोला मुझे तो यही पता है थर्ड से यही मैसेज आया मेरे पास थर्ड पर्सन से फिफ्थ वाले ने थोड़ा सा उसको इंट और उसमें मसाला लगा के इफेक्टिव बनाने के लिए सिक्स वाले को कुछ डिफरेंट मैसेज बता दिया ऐसे करते 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 जब वो मैसेज टेंथ तक आया मैसेज का पूरा का पूरा कंटेंट बदल चुका था मैसेज पूरा डिसोर्टेड हो चुका था जो इंटेंशन थी मेरी सेंडर की आई वुड बी ए सेंडर हेयर जो लास्ट में रिसीवर था उसका कुछ उल्टा उल्टा ही हो गया था दैट इज कॉल्ड चाइनीज विस्टर सो कई बार होता है ना वेन वी से रूमर्स We know it की ये तो rumor है तो rumor कैसे फैलते हैं This is the way that is communication. Effective communication से कभी भी we say इट सुनी सुनाई बातों पर विश्वास मत करो कई बार इनफैक्ट वट यू सी दैट इज ऑल्सो इन करेक्ट सो द बेस्ट वे इज दैट इट इज जस्ट एन एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्लैरिफाई थिंग्स विद सम एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर ए मैसेज कि मैं अपना मैसेज किसी पर्सन या किसी मीडियम के थ्रू देना चाहता हूँ अगर पर्सन के थ्रू देना चाहते हो तो मेक श्योर दैट पर्सन डिलीवर इट इफेक्टिवली एंड यू शुड चेक इट वेदर द मैसेज इज डिलीवर्ड इफेक्टिवली और नॉट दैट्स वन थिंग अगर आप पर्सन के थ्रू वो मैसेज नहीं देना चाहते हो किसी मीडियम के थ्रू देना चाहते हो मीडियम हेयर इन मोबाइल फोन और मे बी एनी अदर मीडियम आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट पर्सन हेयर मेक श्योर दैट मीडियम इज क्वाइट इफेक्टिव कहीं आपका मैसेज कुछ और इंटरप्रेट करके ना चला जाए सो दैट इज so in today's life what is the biggest challenge we face why do we you know uh, the relations wherever whichever relation we are in not only one relation that aspect i'm talking about every relation why they destroy why they why do we have uh, you know such sort of gaps why do we not talk about our kai bar hota hai ki main kyun pehle phone karu main kyun kisi se baat karu usne us mujhe phone kiya bla bla so this is a main reason we do not have effective mode of communication in our life agar if if communication hai kisi ke sath bhi parents ke sath family ke sath friends ke sath the chain cannot be broken wo communication barrier hota hai jiski wajah se differences aane shuru ho jate hain maybe one of my friend uh, he was my college friend communication gap aana shuru hua humne kuch aur suna aur humne socha kya so communication gap jahan par hota hai chahe wo koi relation ho chahe wo koi bhi aspect ho chahe wo aapka uh, 
पीयर टू पीयर रिलेशन हो सुपरवाइजर टू सबॉर्डिनेट हो क्लास टू टीचर हो तो जहां पर कम्युनिकेशन गैप हुआ दे विल बी ए गैप इन रिलेशन ऑल्सो सो मेक श्योर आर कम्युनिकेशन शुड बी इफेक्टिव इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन होना बहुत जरूरी है बीच में जो बैरियर्स होते हैं ना वो रिमूव कर चाइनीज विस्ट पर नहीं होना चाहिए इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गिव ए मैसेज टू एनी वन डू नॉट गिव इट टू एनी मीडियम कि मैं उसको बोल देता हूँ यार वो जाके बता देगा अच्छा तुम वहां जा रहे हो उसको ये बता दो आपने कैसे बोला यू डोंट नो दैट हाउ वुड दैट पर्सन डिलीवर इट दैट पर्सन ऐसा नहीं कि वो बंदा जान मुझके गलत बताएगा बट लेकिन हाउ डिड ही अंडरस्टूड डिड ही लिटरली अंडरस्टूड द मैसेज इन राइट वे आपने कुछ और बोला उसको समझ ही नहीं आया और उसने आपसे कंफर्म नहीं किया लेकिन और जब उसने मैसेज आगे बताया मे बी वॉज इन नॉट इन ए पोजिशन सो दैट इज द मेन की कम्युनिकेशन इट्स इन आर लाइफ communication is a grip if you hold it tightly if you hold it effectively you will certainly going to success in every field of work agar aapka communication connect for example you are a manager in any organization and you hold a very good connect with the your staff with good connect ka matlab ye ho gaya aap unse regular baat karte ho you ask uh, you seek their feedback You speak every month उनके साथ वन टू वन आप बात करते हो टीम मीटिंग करते हो एंड यू गेट अराउंड विद यू गो फॉर ए कॉफी यू गो फॉर ए टी यू टॉक विद दे विल हैव दैट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट वी हैव ए बेटर कनेक्टिविटी विद आर मैनेजर एंड ही इज वेरी केयरिंग ही लिसन टू आर कंसर्न एंड दे विल बी हैप्पी एंड ऑन द अदर साइड ऑन द कॉन्ट्रेरी इफ यू आर ए मैनेजर यू डोंट गेट टाइम फॉर योर स्टाफ यू डोंट टॉक विद एंड uh, कोई भी आपको कम मैसेज पहुंचाना है अपने स्टाफ को वो आप किसी मीडियम के थ्रू पहुंचाते हो सो दैट इज नॉट ए इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन सो जहां पर इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन नहीं होगा दैट गैप विल बी देयर यू कैन टेक एनी एग्जांपल आप अपनी लाइफ में ये एग्जांपल पर्सनल हो या प्रोफेशनल कहीं पे भी जो भी पोजिशन में आप हो यू सी अगर आप अपने सुपरवाइजर्स हो अगर आप मैनेजर हो आप एम्प्लॉय से डेली कम्युनिकेट करते हो इफेक्टिवली i am sure they gonna trust you 100 times more yes you that is a key so communication plays important role if you are a teacher if you communicate with your students effectively they gonna say you are the favorite teacher ek teacher class mein aata hai wo bachcho se dang se communicate hi nahi karta hai just normally they talks about and then they go it but there should be communication and us communication mein personal touch hona bahut zaruri hai you should know as a human being if the student or if your peer or if your subordinate is going through a tough time you need to talk with them what is the problem share with me i'm sure if you cannot help it but when the person shares his or her problem half of the problem is solved problem kya hai na today's life mein okay you must have seen whenever we have a koi bhi problem aati hai life mein when we are very stressed out we go to our counselors we look for your counseling ki zarurat hai counselor ke paas jaate hain psychiatrist counselor what they do do they give us a medicine ki ye khao isse theek ho jayega no they don't give us a medicine wo sirf aur sirf hamari baaton ko sunte hain dhang se aap unke paas jaate hain you pay nominal amount of fee 1000 2000 depends they will listen to you during that listening conversation they will have a pen and paper they will be writing and they will be po- properly acknowledging you yes yeah matlab aapko lagega effective communication hai ye nahi ki aap unse baat kar rahe ho wo whatsapp pe lage hue hain aisa nahi hoga wo proper aapko sunenge aur jab wo aapko sunte hain na usme aadhi problem aapki wahi solve ho jati hai wo aapko kuch ghutti nahi pilate medicine nahi dete hain they just listen to you so when you share your problems when you share your angerness when jab aap apne kisi ke aage sab बात करते हो तो आपका आधा गुस्सा वहीं शांत हो जाता है आपकी प्रॉब्लम आधी वहीं सॉल्व हो जाती है सो ये क्या है कम्युनिकेशन है ना बट आजकल की लाइफ में वी डोंट हैव टाइम वी डोंट शेयर थिंग्स विद आवर फैमिली विद आवर पेरेंट्स इवन दो आवर पेरेंट्स आर टॉकिंग वी हैव आवर सेल फोन दैट इज अ बैड वे इफ समबडी इज टॉकिंग टू यू इदर एट होम और आउटसाइड एंड यू आर इग्नोरिंग दैट पर्सन एंड यू आर ऑन योर व्हाट्सएप लिसनिंग इग्नोरिंग व्हाट्सएप यू आर इज जस्ट अ formality listening you are doing it the person one day the person will observe ki he is not even interested so that is the mean if we have time for listening to our peers to our family members to everyone half of the problem is resolved because counselors bhi yahi karte hain wo problem ko sunte hain bas nothing else they are giving they are charging for 
the time they are spending because of they are listening to your concerns and then out of that they will give you alternate ki these are the alternate or wo alternate aapko bhi pata hote hain you have to choose because they listen to you so here all about communication yahan bhi communication hai jab communication gap hota hai kahin bhi you will start losing that grip so make sure in your life wherever you are personal or professional have that communication channel ensure that you talk with everyone if you have to save the relation wherever you are if you are a parent make sure you communicate with your kids every day at least 10 to 15 minutes do not uh, break that chain where in one day they will start our par parents do not have time for us do not do that take some time for your family listen to your parents listen to your friends talk to them i know that this is a very hectic life very fast life but if you schedule it properly if uh, you make it a time management wise you will certainly going to be people will say what a person right you will be an exemplary person so hota hi hai out of 10 one person in our life we say what a person we, we, we literally praise that person so in i will certainly let you know the time management bit also in my upcoming classes but uh, as of now let us continue with the communication part so yes as you see there are seven s correct complete concrete concise consideration courteous clear these are correct these are seven c's of communication we'll discuss in detail one by one now so first is clear clear meaning is that the message should be clear and easily understandable to the recipient as i was telling you jo message aapko dena hai first and foremost aapki duty banti hai ki message should be loud and clear message should be loud and clear sha ko sa nahi bolna sa ko sha nahi bolna it's just an example koi bhi aisi cheeze should be very clear the purpose of the communication should be clear to the sender then only the receiver will be sure about it the message should emphasize on a single goal at a time and shall not cover several ideas in a single sentence kai bar hota hai hum bata de ki yaar ye bhi bata diyo ye bhi bata diyo ye bhi ye bhi the, the receiver of the message will get confused wo bolega ek ek karke batao main confused ho jaunga main bhul jaunga to it should not be at one go should be pehle first message hai if the purpose then second message next is correct the message should be correct that is the correct language should be used and the sender must ensure that there is no grammatical and spelling mistakes also the message should be exact and well timed the correct message have a greater impact on the receiver and at the same time the morale of the sender increases with the accurate message koi message aapko dena hai ki aapko batana hai ki main kal delhi aaunga let's say you are in pune and you are giving a message to your family mai kal delhi aaunga या फिर किसी को आपने मैसेज बोला मेरे फैमिली को मैसेज दे देना मेरा फोन नहीं कॉल हो रहा कि मैं कर दे वो मैसेज पहुंचा तीन दिन बाद बट नाउ आप कल आके परसों चले भी गए आपने फ्रेंड्स को बोला कि टुमारो आई विल बी देयर इफ यू वांट टू मीट कम यू कैन कट इट वो मैसेज डिलीवर हुआ तीन दिन बाद सो टाइमिंग आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट राइट सो अगर एक मैसेज अगर कोई भी मैसेज है जब उसका जो करेक्ट टाइमिंग है राइट वो उस टाइमिंग पे डिलीवर नहीं हुआ एंड दैट हैज बीन डिलीवर्ड और दैट इज कम्युनिकेटेड सो द पर्पस इज नॉट फिल्ड सो दैट इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट वेल टाइम्ड होना चाहिए करेक्ट होना चाहिए नेक्स्ट इज कंप्लीट द मैसेज शुड बी कंप्लीट दैट इज इट मस्ट इंक्लूड ऑल द रिलेवेंट इंफॉर्मेशन एज रिक्वायर्ड बाय द इंटेंडेड ऑडियंस the complete information give answers to all the questions to the receiver and help to better decision making by the receiver you know it happens a lot that is the biggest barrier complete information hame nahi dete hain chahe kahin ki bhi main baat le lu take an example of a school teacher if a school teacher has to inform that guys tomorrow school timing would be uh, this that that your books collect karni hai koi na koi kaise information reh jati hai that is why you must have uh, रिलाइज हुए पेरेंट्स को बोलते हैं अच्छा इस टाइम पे ये होगा इस टाइम फिर वो टीचर्स को फोन करते हैं मैम ये भी बता दो मैम ये भी बता दो सो so, ये पर्पस होना चाहिए अगर आप कोई मैसेज कम्युनिकेट करते हो वो कंप्लीट होना चाहिए ऐसे फॉर एग्जांपल मुझे कोई एक व्हाट्सएप का ग्रुप बना हुआ है मुझे एक मैसेज डालना है कि कल की क्लास आई मे नॉट बी एबल टू अटेंड लेट से सो इट शुड बी क्लियर इनफ दो आई एम राइटिंग इन ए क्लियर इनफ की कल की नहीं बट कई स्टूडेंट्स को 
कई कई लोग क्या होता है जिनको मन में क्वेरीज होते हैं कि परसों की भी नहीं होगी ये तो बताया नहीं सो दे माइट क्वेश्चन सो आई शुड बी यू नो वेरी वेरी मच एकट इन माई आई वुड से हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टू मोरो क्लास विच हैपन्स एट टेन टू इलेवन I will not be able to take it, but yes, the day after tomorrow, the classes will be affected as per the day normal time, which is ten to eleven. Normal chale. So effective. This is just a message I am giving you. But I have seen most of the time, not only just a teacher example I have given. Kisi bhi field me I have. Kisi bhi field me ap chale jao. Jo message aota hai, wo complete nahi hota hai. Complete nahi hota hai. Uske andar slangs hote hain, ya fir communication barrier hota hai. Agar wo koi type kar raha hai. प्लीज वो पी एस लिख देते हैं अब पी एस का मतलब जरूरी नहीं कि प्लीज ही हो प्लीज सी भी हो सकता है कुछ भी हो सकता है सो एनओ टी को एन टी कर रहा है वो टी भी हो सकता है एनओ टी ई भी हो सकता है सो एकट होना चाहिए कंप्लीट होना चाहिए इफ यू वॉन्ट दैट द रिसीवर शुड अंडरस्टैंड इन द सेम वे करेक्टनेस होना चाहिए क्लियर होना चाहिए वेल टाइम होना चाहिए कंप्लीट विथ प्रॉपर इंफॉर्मेशन विथ एंड वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डिलीवर दैट शुड बी स्पेसिफाई okay moving ahead concrete the communication should be concrete which means the message should be clear and particularly such that no room for misinterpretation is left all the facts and figures should be clearly mentioned in a message so as to substantiate to whatever the sender is saying kehne ka matlab ye hai concrete hona chahiye clear hona chahiye koi misinterpret na kare kai aise messages hote hain jo misinterpret ho jate hain samajhna hota kuch aur hai kuch aur samajh lete hain you can take any example in every field there are certain misinterpretations happen concise the message should be precise and to the point the sender should avoid the lengthy sentences and try to convey the subject matter at least possible words in the least possible words this should not this should be a brief message is more comprehensive and entertaining the kehne ka matlab ye hai aap jo kehna chahte ho aap usko kehte hain na mudde pe aao tell that come to the point this is a message do not give the history ki aise hua tha to ab aise ho raha hai pehle classes 10 se 11 hoti thi but due to that jo message hai should be precise nobody is interested in reading long lengthy messages right nobody is interested so make it concise consideration the sender must take into consideration the receiver opinion knowledge mindset background etc in order to have an effective communication in order to communicate the sender must relate the target recipient basically kehne ka matlab hai agar aap sender ho koi message bhej rahe ho aap jisko bhej rahe ho make sure you should know whether that post agar aap koi ek message bhej rahe ho you know french language aap french mein likh rahe ho como sava sava be a mercy French means how are you? Savabi Amarse, I am fine. आपने लिख तो दिया जो रिसीवर है उसको इंग्लिश भी नहीं आती हाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड फ्रेंच उसको लगेगा यू आर एब्यूसिंग हिम सो आपको पहले पता होना चाहिए हाउ इज दैट पर्सन इज ही डज ही इज ही अवेयर ऑफ फ्रेंच और नॉट सो वही उसका नॉलेज होना चाहिए उसका माइंड सेट बैकग्राउंड कई बार हम किसी से मजाक कर लेते हैं व्हाट्सअप वगैरह पे एंड दैट पर्सन फील हर्ट दैट पर्सन गेट हर्ट and it's not that we do it intentionally but kisi ke sentiments hurt ho jate hain so make sure you know what kind of person is that if you are very open with that person that's fine but when you don't know anything about that person you should not do it there are some people they don't like it at all so you should study it well before ki jisko aap message de rahe ho what kind of perception that person has what kind of knowledge that person has educated hai kaisa hai so that is important last but not the least courteous as we know what is courteous it implies that the sender must take into consideration both the feelings and view point of the receiver such that the message is positive and focused at the audience the message should not be biased and must include the terms that show respect for the receiver kehne ka matlab crux mein yahi hai courteous hona chahiye polite hona chahiye courtesy honi chahiye jab hum kisi ko message likh rahe hain kuch bhi we should have a courtesy होनी चाहिए राइट सो गाइस दीज आर द सेवन एस जो बहुत बहुत मैटर करते हैं अगर हमारा मैसेज है चाहे हम बोल रहे हैं लिख रहे हैं कहीं भी है वी नीड टू फॉलो दैट कम्युनिकेशन शुड हैव ऑल दीज सेवन एस्पेक्ट्स करेक्ट होना चाहिए कंप्लीट होना चाहिए कॉन्क्रीट होना चाहिए कंसाइज कंसिडरेशन कर्टी होनी चाहिए क्लियर करेक्ट सो दिस इज वेरी वाइटल 
इसके अलावा और बहुत चीजें दिस इज जस्ट ए स्टार्ट कम्युनिकेशन केस टाइप के होते हैं क्या उसका प्रोसेस होता है वो हम करेंगे इन आर अपकमिंग क्लासेस सो कीप वाचिंग एंड टुमारो सेम टाइम आई विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग आफ्टर दिस इफ देयर आर एनी क्वेश्चंस प्लीज कमेंट ओके ओके नाउ थैंक यू सो मच फॉर लिसनिंग थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग सो मेनी लाइक्स एंड लव नाउ आई टेक अ बिट नाउ आई विश यू अ गुड नाइट एंड हैव अ ग्रेट स्टार्ट टुमारो थैंक यू बाय बाय